Well, thank you. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me. Um, and thank you for the introduction. And again, my name is Officer Kamuala Mawai. I'm an officer with the Maui Police Department. I've been employed with the Maui Police Department for 12 years. Uh, a lot of my time in the department was spent in Lahaina Patrol, uh, just about 10 years. So I'm very familiar with Lahaina, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the uh, police department's role in any kinds of emergencies, whether it be uh, natural or man-made. Uh, first, you know, a lot of times we have issues with uh, tsunamis or un upcoming hurricanes. So basically the department's role is to make sure that you know, life and property is protected and life being more important, of course. Uh, this is our, our Auxiliary Officer Adele Rudd. Um, besides, if you can have a round of applause for her as well. Thank you, Adele. Uh, besides talking about what our role in the police department, we, what we do in Maui County, uh, we're also going to be talking about the Neighborhood Crime Watch Program and the Auxiliary Program. So back to our emergency preparedness. Uh, here are a few photos from back from 2011 when we had uh, a bit of a natural disaster scare, um, flooding, tides, you know, roads, uh, some of the boats were knocked off their moors and kind of drifted away, uh, a lot of damage to residents as well as businesses. Uh, some of these photographs were Kahului, uh, Kihei, I believe this is Malaya or Lahaina Harbor, Malaya. Um, this is, I believe, Front Street. And I'm not too sure where this one is, probably in Kahului or Waiyuku. Uh, so basically, back to what the police department is uh, responsible for, is life, preservation of life and property. So whenever we hear that a uh, natural disaster is coming up to the island, you know, we try to definitely inform the public of what to do and as far as where the emergency shelters are set up. And we also have patrolmen driving through neighborhoods on their loudspeakers telling the public about or warning them about the upcoming uh, disaster that could happen. And we try to get everyone to leave the area, especially if they're in a flood zone. Um, if residents choose not to leave, we do not force them to leave, but we do it, it, try to inform them and try to get them to leave, it, leave the area because what happens a lot of times is they'll stay and try to um, protect their property and then when, you know, if it's a fire, if the fire gets too close and, you know, they feel that their life is in danger, then they'll call 911 and a lot of times our emergency service personnel are already dealing with something else so it's not like a guarantee that the fire department or the police department can get to them before, you know, they get injured. Um, our main point that we do is we control traffic as a police department. So we set up traffic control points. Um, this is a photograph from Oluwalu area, Highway 30. Um, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but you know, sand and debris does get washed up on the roadways, which makes it very uh, unsafe. Um, so that is one of the main reasons why we close the roads. Some of the traffic points would be from the Pali Tunnel. We'll close that off, and we won't let traffic go in towards Lahaina or out. And we'll have another set up at Hokio Kio. So this whole area, uh, would be, we shouldn't have any traffic on it. Um, and, and like the fire chief mentioned, or sorry, the fire captain mentioned, uh, a lot of times they close the roads to make sure that cars aren't on it, besides safety is for the safety of the firefighters who are on the roadway. Um, we also set up uh, other areas such as Highway 30 and Shaw Street, uh, Lahaina Luna Road, Fleming Road, Lily Park, uh, Alanil Drive, Laura Road, and all the way up to Nakalele Point. We set up officers to make sure that traffic is not, uh, not, not traveling on the roadways for safety reasons. Um, a lot of times when we have these natural disasters, we do have a lot of prep time, but you know, sometimes a couple of days or a few hours at, at the minimum. So it, it's very important that everyone has uh, a plan. Um, you know, things to take into consideration besides you know, having food, water, shelter, going over to where the emergency shelters are located is, you know, your pets, right? Think, think about uh, food for your pets. A lot of the shelters, they won't accept pets, right? Animals, um, dogs, and things like that. So you have to have a plan for that. And medication, of course, and thinking of, um, of course, your family members and pets. Uh, and that basically brings me to one of the programs that we offer the Maui QC Department. Uh, which is the Neighborhood Crime Watch Program. 
So the Neighborhood Crime Watch program is basically a program where we bring uh, neighbors together. Um, in today's day and age, you know, we have a lot of uh, people moving uh, in and out, so it's, it's not like before where everybody knew each other. So we try to promote neighbors communicating with each other, and this is one of the programs that is really beneficial for that purpose. Uh, what it is, is basically neighbors working with each other to deter crime and to communicate and to uh, just talk to each other about any issues in their neighborhood. And they have a direct contact with the police department and we try to help uh, with whatever we can. So if they tell me that there is a problem with speeding on their neighbor on their street, I will put them in contact with our traffic section. And as most of you guys know, you know we have motorcycle officers now. And so they will set up traffic or speed enforcement for whenever the, the complaints are. So if there's a lot of traffic or speeding, at certain times they'll set up and make sure you know they cite or warn people for, for that offense. Um, if there is a house that uh, possibly narcotics activity, you know, I'll put them in contact with their, with our vice section and they can deal with it that way. So Neighborhood Crime Watch is a great program. If you guys are interested in signing up your neighborhood or your street, um, we have a booth here to my left and you can sign up and we'll get in touch with you. And it, it's, it's a really easy program to set up and it doesn't require much um, work on your part. And another program that we have is the auxiliary program. So I brought up off, uh, Auxiliary Officer of Bell, well, and she's going to talk a little bit about the program. But the, basically, it, it's similar to a neighborhood crime watch. Um, you know, they, they're the eyes and ears of the police department. And currently, we only have the program available in Kihei, but we're trying to get that uh, open to other districts as well. But uh, here's Adele. Thank you, Officer. It's really an honor and a pleasure to be here to share information about the Citizens on Patrol. Citizens on Patrol has been in South Maui for over 20 years. It started uh, because there were so many break-ins in the parks down in McKenna in South Maui. So uh, one of the police uh, lieutenants at that time decided, uh, along with some of the community citizens, to get involved in trying to cut down on the break-ins in McKenna State Park. They were averaging about 60 to 80 um, or 100 break-ins in cars per month. Since Citizens on Patrol has been involved, we've cut down on that major, maybe to only one or two a month. So we are very proud of the fact that we can help our police department and also our tourists uh, when they're in critical situations. So we're always trying to reach out to the community to get other communities involved with Citizens on Patrol. So if any of you here in the west side feel that you really would love to do something like this, uh, we uh, have a sign-up sheet over here. We'd love to have you be a part of this awesome organization to help be the extra eyes and ears of the Maui Police Department. Mahalo. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so that's pretty much our presentation. Uh, I'll open up to any questions from the crowd if you have any questions for me or for Adele. If not, we'll keep the program rolling. Any questions regarding police, what we do, or anything like that?